Hello, this is a quick video on a makeup design for the Ensemble Women in Spamalot. Uh, I've already started out with Grace's face primed and foundation and concealed, and now I'm going to use a cream highlighter on the cheekbones, the bridge of the nose, the chin, and in the center of the forehead, um, just to go ahead and give us some highlight. Um, also highlighting right under the eye, just to brighten that area. Um, the lighting of this video doesn't necessarily show uh, how harsh I did highlight her face, uh, but it was fairly significant. Um, now I'm powdering her face, and this is to set the makeup and the cream highlighter, and then brushing off the excess powder with a powder brush. Now I will also put some extra powder underneath her eyes to prevent fallout um, when we're doing the eyeshadow, which first I'm going to prime the eyes with an eyeshadow primer. I'm using Urban Decay, and then I'm also going to use an eyeshadow base. This is a NYX white eyeshadow base. And now both eyes are primed and based. We're going to go into real time. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take this green pigment, which is by Ben Nye, which I will be giving you. And um, notice how often I'm tapping off the brush, just taking a little bit of the pigment on the outer half of the eyelid itself. Um, not really going up into the crease, but on the very uh, the eyelid itself. Um, and then also taking a shimmery white eyeshadow and bring that on the inner corner and the inner half of the eyelid. Um, now I'm taking a deep plum color and uh, defining the crease. It's sort of a deep plum um, or an eggplant purple. Uh, it reads a little brown on camera. If you don't have an uh, eggplanty color, uh, you could actually use a dark brown. Uh, but I think the plum reads a little better from stage. Um, just taking a pencil brush and really defining the crease very well. I'm taking a clean brush and just blending the edge um, of that shadow out. Notice it just softens the outside edge. I'm not really blending the inside edge at all. I want the crease to be well defined on the inside edge. I'm taking just a little bit of black eyeshadow and darkening just the outside corner of the crease. It just helps deepen everything up. And finally, for the eyeshadows, I'm taking a um, sort of vanilla white um, pigment, or forgive me, eyeshadow, and um, blending that onto the brow bone. It also helps blend out the edge of the crease color. Now we're going to go back into fast forward. I'm going to remove the powder that was under the eye, and go ahead and do a little bit of contouring on the face. As I said, I've already done a cream highlight. So now I'm going to take a matte bronzer and contour the nose and contour the temples and around the hairline. Now this is a trick for getting a really well-defined cheekbone or a showgirl sort of cheekbone. It's taking a piece of paper, lining it up at the top of the ear and the corner of the mouth. It gives you a really nice crisp line at the bottom. Blend that out. Now I'm going to use just a little bit of a highlighting powder uh, to highlight underneath the cheekbones and on top of the cheekbones and at any place else I needed to define the highlight a little more. I'm going to go ahead and color in the eyebrows a bit. Eyebrows are so important to a dramatic makeup look. I'm just using a, a brown eyeshadow and then I'm going to um, extend the eyebrows slightly and um, Use a clear mascara to set the eyebrows. Now we're going to go back into real time for the liner. I am using um, a gel eyeliner. This is Black Track Fluid Line by MAC. And just a small round brush. I'm going to line very close to the lash line. Um, notice I started in the middle of work toward the middle, and toward the inner corner, and now I'm starting on the outer corner and working in and about 
three quarters of the way out, I've actually left the lash line and uh, sort of did a sweep up. It's not too dramatic, but it is swept up a little bit. I'm actually going to uh, line on the bottom with a brown liner. It's a little bit softer. And though it's hard to tell uh, from the angle that this is shot at, uh, it's I'm sort of straightening the line out on the outside corner. Also, the line on the bottom isn't directly under the lashes. There's just a little bit, like an eighth of an inch gap underneath, which is going to help make the eyes look larger. And you'll see in other angles um, a little bit more how I did the liner on the bottom. Um, I'm also going to take a white, and this could be a white eyeshadow that you apply wet. This is a white cake liner that I'm using. And I'm going to put a little bit of white in between the two eye lines. Um, Especially when you wear heavy eyelashes, this is a good idea. It helps lift the eye, and it makes the eyes look brighter and bigger. Now it's time for eyelashes. We're going to speed it up again. I've got these wonderful lashes that I've made for you guys. My method of applying fake eyelashes, I like to put the glue on the back of my hand, then run the back of the eyelash through the glue, dabbing off any excess. And I actually place the lash on the eye, close to the lash line, and then take it off. And then let them both dry a little bit. And then it, the glue actually works like a contact adhesive. And once I put it on, it's stuck down really well and secure. So once again I'm going to take an eyelash, run the back of it through the adhesive, put it onto the eye, and then remove it. There's glue on both the eye and the lash now. I let that dry, and then I press them back together, and they bond almost instantly. For the lip, um, I like to keep it in a pink lip. Uh, it can be a fairly hot pink, a bright pink. Um, the pink I used is a lot brighter in real life than it is in the video. Um, keeping the bottom lip a fairly natural shape, but I am over drawing the top lip just a little bit into a very round, um, sort of 1940s lip shape, um, which I think looks really good for the showgirl sort of look. So it's a very round cupid bow sort of look. Now, if you want to use a liner, you can. Uh, the lipstick I'm using is by Cryolon, and it's very strong, and you really don't need to use a liner on it because it doesn't feather. Um, also, I'm going to use a little bit of a deep plum underneath the bottom of the lip just to make it look a little fuller. And then I like to take a little gold um, powder um, and put just on the center of the lip just to give a little bit of a highlight. Any sort of shimmery color will work well on the lip. Um, and so this is the finished makeup after putting a little bit of pink blush on. I probably need a little bit more uh, for stage purposes, but um, the eyes look large. You can see the liner on the bottom is not right up against the lash line. Uh, the crease is well defined, and she's a beautiful showgirl. Here's a photo that you can see the beautiful um, contouring in the cheek, and you can also see how the two eyeliners of the bottom and the top do not meet, but have the white in between them. And here is a front view of the eyeshadow. Thank you very much. I look forward to running the show with you.